After Rachel's death in April of 1999, we discovered journal writings that she had been writing quite a bit in her journals. In the early 2000s, I felt God put it in my heart that someday I would do a movie. So a few years ago, we started working on the movie, I'm Not Ashamed. Nine parties, five students. It is the largest school massacre in U.S. history. Police are still sifting through the remains of Tuesday's shooting spree in a Colorado high school. The two gunmen are dead, reportedly by their own hands. But for the community of Littleton, the ordeal is far from over. It's hard to watch um, enactment of what possibly could have been exactly what happened. It was a teary process, and never an emotional process. Well, I really want kids to be inspired, to be strong in their beliefs. The two shooters of Columbine had um, planned to commit this massacre on April the 20th of 1999. They were celebrating Hitler's birthday. Columbine is an open campus, and as seniors, they had a lot of liberty to go on on and off the campus throughout the day. And so they had spent the morning placing uh, pipe bombs. When the bombs didn't go off, they started opening fire. Rachel was outside with one of her friends. They spotted Rachel, and she initially had taken two bullets to her body from a distance. When they saw who it was, they walked up to her. They put a, a gun to her forehead and uh, started mocking her for her faith and asked her if you still believe in God. And when Rachel answered, you know that I do, her shooter said in a very cruel way, well then, go be with him. And he pulled the trigger. And of course, I believe Rachel went from the face of evil right into the presence of the Lord in that split second. For Rachel, April the 20th of 1999 was a life sentence. And I did not want it to be my life sentence. And forgiveness is that key. And uh, without it, you just keep reliving that moment again and again and again. But your heart becomes healed if you allow it to. If you allow the Lord, uh, He will heal the brokenness uh, of your heart and show you purpose, even in the midst of the trauma and the, the loss. That's what I think we've experienced as a family. We've experienced healing. We need to touch the hearts of our children. A lot of kids go every day to school, day in and day out and they wear the mask that camouflages what's really happening in the heart. I want kids to know that there's something worth living for. We have heart trouble in America, and we don't know how to fix our hearts. We don't know how to heal ourselves. But there's a God that is a healer of the brokenhearted, 